Hello everyone, it's Jamie from Jamie's Library and welcome to another video on Imposia's Book Club. So one of my favourite bookish things to do is look at all the releases that are coming up that people haven't been talking about. I love doing my research and just seeing what books people are excited for that are going to be released in the coming months and the coming year. But what I've found is that the books that people talk about the most are the ones that everyone kind of knows about. They're by big authors or they're set in the US and the UK and the publishers are pushing them a lot. But I was so excited when I was doing my research recently and I found five books coming out in the later half of 2021 that I don't think I've seen anyone talk about. And the best thing is, is that they are all from different countries. There is not a single one set in the US or the UK. And two of them are translated works as well. So stay tuned and I hope you end up being just as excited about these books as I am. So the first book that I want to talk about is Slipping by Mohamed Kier. This is being released on June 8th and it is a book set in Egypt and translated from Arabic. I believe this is a story very much about coming to terms with your trauma through a lot of kind of magic lore. We follow our main character Sif who is a struggling journalist and when he decides to go on this huge adventure around Egypt and visit all these like magical and historical places while going on this adventure he really works through some of the struggles that he has been through including the trauma that his ex-girlfriend went through as well. The Goodreads synopsis says that this is a novel that very generously portrays the overlooked miracles of life while also coming to terms with your own past and your own failures. I feel like this is going to be a really inspiring novel and just a really beautiful novel that takes you on a stunning journey. So I am so excited to check this one out and I hope you guys are as well. The next book I want to share with you guys is The Woman in the Purple Skirt by Natsuko Imamura. This is a Japanese novel that is being released on June 1st and it has also been translated to English. I believe this is a thriller that features two women. It is a book that really discusses envy and power trips and the vulnerability of being an unmarried woman in a society where everyone believes that a woman should be married in order to be successful. I believe this is going to be a very feminist novel. While the meat of the story shows two women that are being pitted against each other, I think it's going to be the sort of thing where they come to terms with the hand that society has given them, being a woman in a misogynistic society. I have read some Japanese translated works before and I have really really enjoyed them. And that actually reminds me guys, Put down in the comments if you have ever read a translated book and if you have, what one is your favourite? I just really wanted to share this one with you because I think it just looks really, really cool. The next book I want to share with you guys is The Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels by India Holton. This is being released on June 15th and it is a novel by a New Zealand author. I am from New Zealand so I am so 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 excited to check out this author's works and this book just looks so good. This is a historical romance and it tells the love story between our main character Cecilia who is the perfect Victorian lady apart from the fact that she's a thief and a man called Ned who is also the perfect Victorian gentleman but he's an assassin. I can only imagine all the fun banter that we're going to get and the adventures that our characters are going to get up to in this novel. I'm so beyond excited and obviously I need to check out a New Zealand author because I gotta say New Zealanders have the best sense of humour in the world so of course I cannot wait to read this book. The next book I want to share with you is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan who is an Australian Chinese author. This book is being released on July 20th and it is a historical literary fantasy. The Goodreads page is telling me that it's very Mulan meets the Song of Achilles which just sounds incredible. I believe this is a reimagining of the rise of the founding emperor of the Ming Dynasty. I've been told that it's full of rich and lyrical writing and it has some queer storylines that are woven into the story and I just think it sounds so good. One of my personal favourite books, The Poppy War, is another literary fantasy book that is very much inspired by Asian history and I feel like the same rich Asian history is going to be very much ingrained into this story. I feel like this is going to be such an informative novel. I feel like it's going to teach me so much and I just think this book sounds amazing. So if you are fans of quite intense rich fantasy, I believe this book 
is going to be for you just like I believe it's going to be for me because that's one of my favorite genres. This book may just be the one I am the most excited for so I hope you guys are very excited for it as well. And the final book I have to talk about is The Ballerinas by Rachel Kapelke Dale. This book is being released on December 7th and it is by an author who lives in France. I believe this is a thriller and it tells the story of three girls who met at their ballet school and we follow them through their lives from adolescence to adulthood. I believe this book really discusses the complexities of female friendship and how sometimes drive and ambition to have the same career path and do the same thing with their lives can really mess that up for each other. I believe this is going to be a book with some very powerful female characters which I absolutely love. It also I'm not sure if I have any film buffs watching this video but it sounds very much like something like Suspiria or Black Swan, two movies that very much discuss the toxicity of the dance world. I feel like this is going going to be such an intense and kind of gruesome book while still being set in the beautiful city of Paris. I'm super excited for this. I love thrillers and I'm just really excited to check out this book especially because it is a debut author and a brand new voice in fiction. So I'm super excited for this one and I hope you guys are too. I think this is definitely going to be one for all my thriller fans out there. So those are all the releases that I wanted to share with you today. These are just five that I wanted to share with you because I feel like a lot of translated works and a lot of works from countries that people aren't familiar with don't get as much traction as they should. I hope you have found some new books to be excited about and again let me know in the comments the releases that you are most excited for for 2021. That's all from me so again thank you so much for watching this video on Imposia's book club and I will see you very soon in another one. Bye!